we uh, kind of have a similar team, you know, both uh, big body, uh, you know, have some speed and skill up front. So I think uh, from a defensive side, we just kind of have to be hard to play against in our own zone. Um, you know, we got to be aware of, of what's going out, what's going on out there, who's on the ice, and, and uh, you know, we're pretty familiar with them. We know what the, what the what they like to do. There's no secrets, so we just got to come prepared and, and you know, be hard to play against in our zone. Is there anything you're carrying over from the San Jose series into this one in terms of a, of a special teams role? Because numerous times we talked, to, you know, he says, well, special teams are going to play a factor. Power plays generate chances. PK shut down their momentum. Is any of that crossover at all, or is this a whole new series? Oh, um, you know, they have a good power play. They had a good power play the entire regular season, and, and uh, first and foremost, we don't want to put them on the power play. Um, but, you know, what we had... Uh, we had a good penalty kill against San Jose, so obviously we want to carry that over. Um, I, th I don't think we gave up a, uh, a goal on the kill, so um, obviously if we can do that again, that'd be huge. Um, but like I said, they have a really good power play, uh, so we'll do our best to try not to put them on the ice. But but uh, you know we have a lot of confidence in our penalty kill, so uh, when that does happen, you know we have uh, we expect we're going to kill it off. So we just got to keep keep going on that. And what have you and, and the rest of the defensive group been working on with, with this is Coach Chris Hyatt and with some of the guys out there? Is there anything you're trying to mostly focus on? Anything different than what we saw in the first round? Um, I don't know. You know, I think you just kind of got to continue to play your game. Um, for the most part, we had a pretty good series against San Jose. Um, obviously, you know, at San Diego is a really good team. They got a lot of firepower up front. Um, we just got to be ready for that. Um, you know, we got firepower up front on our end too. So we, as, as a defensive core, we got to get the puck in their hands. Um, you know, shut down those guys and get the puck to our forwards and, and you know, play in, play in their offense zone as much as we can. And we've seen a lot of San Diego, as mentioned before. What's going to be, in your mind, the difference maker, the X factor for success here in best of seven? Uh, I think just emotionally stay even keel. You know, uh, obviously the games during the regular season, uh, you know, they got they got pretty emotional. Um, um, and, and, and in a playoff series, you know, it, it's it's a quick uh, turnaround. Uh, you lose a game, you win a game, whatever. You kind of gotta put it behind you and get ready to go for the next game. You know, it's a race of four. It's not just a one-game uh, series. It can end up going seven. You know, so um, as, as as long as you can kind of stay emotionally even throughout the series and throughout the game itself is is going to be a big a big thing. Do you feel like that's going to be harder to do just because of the already previous history you have with this group? Um, I don't know. You know, that's kind of where the leaders got to step in and, and, you know, just kind of make sure everyone's kind of, you know, relax, stop gripping your stick a little bit, and, and, and don't never too high, never too low. Obviously, uh, you know, we have some history with this team, and, and uh, you know, the games get emotional. It's playoffs, the stakes are high. So, um, you know, it, it might happen, but you got to do your best to kind of keep it under control.